Hello and welcome to this Filbert Flies review of MK Studios Rome Fiumicino scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this video I'm going to take you on a tour of the airport, telling you what I think as we go, and I'll finish up by giving you my overall opinion on it. Let's get started. We'll begin our tour of the airport here on stand 706, which is part of Terminal 3's West Satellite. And as always, we're going to start by having a look at a jetway connecting to the aircraft. The animation is nice and smooth, and we'll see how good a job it does of connecting. Not the best. Uh, unfortunately, the jetway hood does go through the aircraft skin by quite a long way. There's a little bit of a gap at the bottom, uh, but once it's connected, overall, it doesn't look too bad. Let's move on to having a look at some modelling and texturing, starting with this jetway itself. The jetway models are really nicely detailed. There's a little bit of flickering you'll notice here and there, um, but I'm very impressed by the grubby glass. That's something that we haven't seen very often, and it does look very realistic. There are a few little anomalies. You'll notice that this pipe here has a gap in it once the jetway is fully extended. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. Overall, it looks nice. Moving inside the jetway, you will notice that the glass disappears. This is something that we saw a lot of in the early days of MSFS airport modelling. Uh, but it's something that is frankly fairly rare these days. So that is a little bit disappointing. As you can see, Terminal 3's West Satellite features transparent glass and a modelled interior. But before we pop inside, let's take a look at the building itself. The modelling has been done to quite a high standard. Um, it's not the most detailed model, there isn't a huge amount of detail on the roof, but the shapes are right and it looks pretty good. Texture-wise, slightly blurry up here, which isn't the end of the world, you're never going to get that close and pretty good resolution textures on the sides. Yeah, there's a little bit of blurriness when you get up right close as we are here, but certainly from an aircraft cockpit perspective, they look very good. Down at ground level, you'll notice that the transparent glass stops, but the opaque window textures look pretty convincing. They're nicely reflective, and the textures down here, again, are pretty good. Not the crispest we've ever seen, uh, but they do the job. I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit more weathering, though, particularly as the uh, terminal meets the ground here. It does look very clean. Let's take a quick peek inside, and as we do so, uh, we can have a look at the glass. You'll notice that where these windows that we're looking at here intersect with the ones behind, the uh, window frame structures disappear. Don't know what that's about, not something you're going to notice a lot when you are taxiing around the airport though. And it's nice to see that the windows retain their tint from the inside, they look very convincing. I'm pretty impressed with the quality of the interior modelling. It's not the most detailed we've seen, uh, it's not up to the standard say of Pyre Riggs Edinburgh or Glasgow, but it looks pretty nice and I like the reflections around this stairwell here. The signage, screens and shops are all very nicely done. You will notice some jagged edges on these uh, escalator handrails and obviously there's nothing downstairs, but uh, not a bad job overall. As we move east from the satellite to the main part of Terminal 3, you'll notice that the monorail tracks have been modelled. There's no sign of any trains though, unfortunately. And here's Terminal 3's main pier. No transparent glass here, unfortunately, just these grey opaque window textures, which don't look great, to be honest with you. They look a little bit cartoony. They've captured the architecture quite nicely, though. There's, this curve is very smooth and the roof looks good as well. But it does feel a little bit hurried. It doesn't feel that much love has been given to this area at all. Looking more closely at the textures, and I would describe these as acceptably sharp. They're not super realistic, they don't pop out and make you really feel like you're at the airport. But equally, as you taxi onto one of these stands, you're not going to notice any blurriness, and that's the main thing. This is the main part of Terminal 3, and MK Studios have done quite a good job of modelling this sphere here, but not such a great job of texturing it. The real thing looks kind of green and it's very reflective. Obviously this is glass in real life. Um, it just looks a bit drab, a bit blurry, a bit faded, and not terribly impressive. 
And much like the pier, the main Terminal 3 building is, is okay. It's passable, the textures aren't blurry, but it's not very realistic feeling. If you compare this with some of MK Studio's other work, Helsinki say, or Keflavik, where they did some really top-notch modeling and texturing, this is a little bit disappointing. Continuing east across the airport, we come to Terminal 1. And I actually think this looks quite a lot better than what we've seen so far. I'm very impressed by the dirt around these windows. This is of course an older building um, and it shows. So it's good to see a bit of dirt and a bit of weathering. Um, and the lower textures are also nicely weathered. There isn't too much repetition. They're not the sharpest, but from an aircraft cockpit perspective, they look good enough. I also really like this design that you find at some of the stands here. It looks very good. They've done a great job of recreating it. This is Terminal 1's middle pier, and there are things I'm impressed by here. I like these concrete textures, which are nicely weathered, although there is a bit more repetition than I would like to see ideally. And I'm a big fan of these window textures. They're the same as the ones we looked at on the other pier, with a good amount of dirt in the corner. I'm not convinced that these lower windows look particularly realistic. Obviously, it'd be lovely to see transparent glass and interior modeling, but windows can be made to look good with opaque textures. These just seem a little bit too blue and a little bit unrealistic to me. But I haven't been able to find any real world photos to compare them with, so I may be totally wrong. And this is Terminal 1's most eastern pier, which is shown on the charts as under construction. So it's nice to see that this has been included uh, to future proof the scenery. The modeling is pretty good. This uh, curved roof looks all right. Uh, some of the textures are a little bit dodgy on it. I'm really not a fan of the opaque window textures here though. They've kind of tried to recreate a wavy reflection and it just doesn't work. It doesn't look realistic. It looks a bit cartoony, unfortunately. Jumping across to the southwest corner of the airport, we have Terminal 5, which is a fairly nondescript uh, terminal used by the low-cost carriers. Modeling's fine, texture work, all right. Um, there's not a lot to say about this, really. It's a fairly dull building in real life, and it's a fairly dull building in the sim. The maintenance hangars in the southeastern corner of the airport have been nicely modelled and the texture work is okay. It's slightly worse than what we've seen on the terminals in terms of resolution. You will notice blurriness here, uh, even if you get slightly close. But there are things that are really nice, like this faded Alitalia sign here. This maintenance area is the only part of the airport to feature static aircraft and these look pretty nice. MK Studios have done a pretty nice job of modelling the control tower and it features transparent glass. Although unfortunately, when you go inside, the windows turn black, so you can't actually sit here and look out to spot the traffic. Just south of Terminal 5, in front of stands 842 to 847, we have a fire station and three, what I presume are, utility buildings that flank it. Now, these are clearly copy and paste replicas of one another. And if you have a look at satellite imagery, they are not identical. So this feels a little bit on the lazy side. Also, the textures when we get close are pretty blurry, uh, not very good at all, which is not ideal, especially when you are directly in front of them when you park on one of those aircraft stands. The fire station looks slightly better. The textures are crisper, but it's a fairly basic flat model, and it would be nice to see a bit of life around here in the form of fire engines and that sort of thing. It does feel a little bit on the dead side. Let's take a look at the ground textures now. In short, these are not great. MK Studios have made extensive use of satellite imagery, and while this does have the benefit of some realistic variations in tone, the downside is that you get a lot of blurriness and artifact. That's particularly evident in this scenery on the stands around Terminal 5. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of mottling on the ground here. Not very realistic looking, and quite the immersion killer if you are pulling onto one of these stands. The taxiways look quite blurry too as a result of the usage of satellite imagery, and again you've got quite a lot of artifacts around and about the place. 
One thing that has really impressed me about this scenery though is the ground markings. These look really, really good. There is a little bit of bleed of yellow over the edges, uh, which looks great. The colours right, not too bright and cartoony. And the letters and stand numbers are really crisp and easy to read. The grassy areas look pretty good, although there is some weird blurriness at the edges where they merge into the surrounding taxiway textures. The runways are quite disappointing. They are just one flat, blurry texture. If you look at satellite imagery of the real airport, you'll see that the runways are made up of long concrete blocks, and there's just no sign of that here at all. The tire markings look all right, and the paint is accurate, but that's the best that can be said for them. MK Studios have done quite a bit of landside modeling at this airport. You will notice that there is a lot of blurry ground imagery here, but we do have 3D vehicles, which is nice to see, and we do have a lot of buildings around and about the place, from hotels to this railway station. Uh, and as you can see in the distance, we actually have railway lines that extend quite a long way out from the airport and an elevated road network. So I'm quite impressed with what they've done here. The landside terminal entrances are not the most detailed we've seen, but there is a little bit of clutter outside them. And again, this elevated section has been done quite nicely. This is the entrance to Terminal 1, and it's fairly detailed. I like these entranceways. I really like this footbridge, which has some really nice uh, advertising on it. And the multi-storey car park here looks good as well, uh, with a lot, of, uh, a lot of detailing. Here's Fiumicino by night. The apron lighting looks pretty realistic, with these uh, floodlights creating a very convincing looking glow. There's more light coming through these windows than I would like. Uh, it seems to be the one way or the other with transparent glass at the moment. Um, but these are quite heavily tinted windows and there is no sign of that at all. But still, it looks pretty reasonable to me. The opaque window textures by night don't look very good at all, unfortunately. They're very flat and grey. They look nothing like a terminal that's lit from within. And unfortunately, these drab grey window textures are what you have across almost all of the airport. These bluey coloured ones look perhaps slightly better, but not by much. In general, the floodlights across the airport look really good, uh, as do the taxiway lights and runway lights. So what's the overall verdict on MK Studios Fiumicino? Well, I have to be honest, I'm disappointed. I felt that MK Studios sceneries were getting better and better. I liked Dublin, their first MSFS release. I thought their Keflavik was an improvement on it. And I thought their Helsinki and Rovaniemi sceneries were better still. Compared with those, this feels like a definite step backwards in quality. My main complaints are the unrealistic looking windows, disappointing ground textures and poor terminal night lighting across the airport. I also noticed that MK Studios are advertising a simplified terminal interior as one of the features of this product. And I think that's a little disingenuous given that only one floor of a small satellite building has any interior modeling at all. It's not all bad though. I like the atmospheric flood lighting and a lot of the modeling is very well done. Should you buy it? Well, it's quite reasonably priced on Orbex, I think, at 23 Australian dollars 95 cents, which is about 12 pounds 90. And if you want the best depiction of Fiumicino currently available for MSFS, you may decide it's worth it. If you're only interested in the best quality scenery add-ons though, I'd give this one a miss. I hope you found this review useful. If you have, do please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and consider buying me a coffee over at buymeacoffee.com slash I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.